Now, let's The last technical part of this application solution, critical to understanding, is the method with which the indexing servo axis pushes products onto the main conveyor. Now, let's assume the indexer axis moves for a distance that is equal to the length of each product and that all of the products are the same length. This essentially prevents the products from getting stuck between the conveyors. Next, the operator must define the gap between the products. Typically, this gap distance will need to be larger than a minimum set value that depends on the operation of the flying shear axis. These range limitations can easily be set on the HMI so that the operator cannot accidentally input a value that is too small, causing damage to the machine. The indexer axis starts and stops based on the on and off addresses for the address mode clutch, similar to the flying shear operation. Here, each new clutch on address is based on the previous off address. So the new clutch on address equals the previous off address plus the gap between the products. If the previous off address was 20,000, for example, and the gap is 3,000 as shown, the new clutch on address becomes 23,000. In the application, a constant temperature control heat chamber is used to form plastic material around each tray or container. This probably wouldn't be used for sealing plastic around poultry products as shown in the graphic, however, I'm sure you can use your imagination to replace the heat chamber with a vacuum assembly in this case. Regardless, the heat chamber would need to produce very low levels of heat to prevent the styrofoam material from melting. Mitsubishi's temperature controller is very useful here to maintain a set temperature very accurately. For driving the main conveyor, the PLC is set up to communicate with an E700 VFD via a CC link connection. Specific code in the PLC in conjunction with an HMI interface allows you to easily change the drive speed, acceleration, deceleration, and, well, just about any other VFD parameter. The data logger module eliminates the need to implement an expensive third-party data collection unit, which also eliminates another point of failure on the machine. The data logger module is very useful for sending reports automatically to an Excel spreadsheet in a format the customer can define, along with automatically generating email notifications in the event of an error or other emergency. Data can be logged in CSV or binary format as well and is useful for reliability and predictive maintenance personnel. For example, you may know that the cutter blade on the flying shear axis becomes dull after 300,000 cuts or that the integrity of the belt on the conveyor must be examined after 10,000 hours of operation. The data logger module can use logic from the PLC in order to set triggers for maintenance teams to conduct their inspections. The GT1555 graphic operation terminal complements the wrapping application with easy to configure user screens for operator control. A screen has been set up for parameter configuration that directly interfaces with the standalone motion controller. This screen can be used to change machine settings in terms of product length, acceleration and deceleration, speed and temperature settings. A separate interface is also used to assist in homing the machine, performing forward and reverse jog movements, and for testing the indexing and flying shear axes. Likewise, a screen has been created for resetting the system and for monitoring status bits and error signals. In summary, the wrapping solution provided by Mitsubishi Electric highlights three key features that boost productivity and bring significant advantages and benefits to the end user. The flying shear operation for continuous wrapping increases throughput and thus improves the overall equipment effectiveness. The temperature control CC-Link VFD network and data logging functions reduce machine downtime, help to eliminate waste material, and improve machine performance. The easy-to-use HMI interface brings a customizable and visual solution for easier troubleshooting and better consolidated control management. Alternative motion solutions available from Mitsubishi Electric include the Q172DCPU and the QD75MH2 controllers. 
The Q172D CPU can be used for controlling up to eight servo axes, which offers a strong solution for larger machines that require full access to rack-based IQ series modules. The QD75MH2 two-axis positioning controller can be used for much simpler wrapping applications where encoder following isn't absolutely necessary. This controller offers point table programming with up to 600 points per table, and it takes full advantage of the SSCNet3 servo system controller network. It's a good choice for wrapping applications with basic indexing movements. Instead of the E700 inverter for controlling the main product conveyor, a D700 or F700 inverter can also be used. This provides an alternative network connection or simple control via an external analog or digital signal. For further information on the Mitsubishi Electric solution for wrapping machines, material can be found in five separate components, a double page quick reference guide, a detailed application note, complete programming files, images and movies, and this presentation. All of this material is available on the MEAU website at www.meau.com. Just click on the Industry Solutions link to find your way to the material. And that brings me to the end of this Application Solutions webinar. I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation.